Hey everyone, Mandy here. So have you ever wondered why drivers scale their cars before they race? Well, I have my brother Billy here and he's gonna give us some answers. So the reason you scale cars is for consistency. If you don't scale, you never know. You know, you can use a, so we're on a torsion on the rear suspension here. You know, your torsion bars can go south. They're, they're twists, so they, when they, uh, one goes, um, when you put turns in it, it twists the bar. And sometimes you lose turns and whatnot. So you're looking for consistency, your numbers. I mean, the late models, they're actually getting away from scaling it. They're on spring smashers to keep their uh, measurements in their spring and their uh, spring rates correct. And then they scale for that when they're on the road. But usually you go back to scale into initial, initial start and when you erase it. So when you say you scale the car, what are you actually doing? So we're checking each corner to see how high it is. So we're looking for frame lights. You know, are you at five inches, you at six inches off the ground? You know, on asphalt, you're down to two or three inches. When you're, you're looking for your wheel weights, you know, if you have 100 pounds on one corner and 200 on the other, you're looking for your total weight. You want to make sure you're tracking, you're square. You know, we spent a lot of time going through that. You know, Adam took the front, I took the rear, and we kind of tag team it tonight. And uh, it's kind of different, different perspectives on it. So when you scale the car, what do you actually check? So we're usually checking uh, stagger, your uh, different measurements, and uh, the heights of the heights and whatnot. You're checking your uh, wheel displacement. You're checking your uh, ride heights, your shock travels. You know, you're just going through a bunch of different stuff. It usually takes us an hour to two a night. Sometimes we we take a little more than we should, but we uh, we make sure it's right. So say something is off when you're scaling the car. How do you go about? Figuring out and fixing it. Well, you gotta look at your scales and your weights and your measurements, you know, and it's an action to a reaction. If you do something on the left rear, it affects your right front, it affects every corner. So you, you gotta look at it every which way, you know. If you put a turn in your left rear bar, it'll lower your right front. So you gotta counteract sometimes. You know, what we usually do is get our frame heights, and then when you make a weight adjustment, you go to each corner so that you don't mess your frame heights up. I mean, you can get into a lot. There's a lot of static and dynamic figures and stuff in the transfers. It all depends on how far you want to get into it. I mean, you know, it is typically you're just running on dirt for us. You know, we're not in the an asphalt. You're checking bump st uh, bump steer. You're checking bump. You know, your bump stops. You're a little more crucial on that. You also want to see how much percentage you have in the rear and the front. So there's different factors to it. You know, I know a lot of people don't. I've seen people that don't even have scales. They scale with three scales and one on the one that's dead. So. You, I mean, there's different ways to win races. Everyone's got different techniques, but uh, you know, it all comes down to what preference. So, say you're going to a different track than normal. Do you scale the car differently? I don't know. It depends. You know, a lot of people they hit on a setup, they take it everywhere. You know, you get comfortable with something, you don't hit off it. You just kind of know your track. You know, you run a certain track, got more banking, you need a little more right rear spring, you need more right front because you're gonna hit the corners harder on a on a flat track. You might need to roll harder, so you need a softer right sides. So it's different, you know, wings, wings throw different effects to it. I mean, spring cars, they don't scale. Sometimes they put it on scales, but they block them. It's all different, you know, uh, different techniques and different things. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.